Did that look bad? <laughs> I bet it looked bad. Oh God. You guys already can tell from the thumbnail and the title what we are making in this video. We are doing another knitting vlog. This project has been a long time coming. I like honestly don't know why it's taken me this long to make that. Well, I actually do know why. It's because I wasn't really in the mood to knit for the past few months, which is upsetting because it like was winter time and that's actually the best time to knit. I am finally making a sweater with a bow on it. It's the big trend. I do feel like the trend is kind of, it might be on its way out. I still feel like I need to knit a sweater with a bow on it and and make a pattern for you guys to knit a sweater with a bow on it because it just has to be done. It should have been done months ago and that's my bad. Sorry it took this long, but we're here now and that's what matters. If you guys have watched my knitting vlogs before, you've already seen this, but I'm going to do the same silhouette as this sweater, which is my Karma's My Boyfriend sweater, but instead of this text and the hearts down the side, I'm going to just put a bow on the front. This project should be pretty easy breezy because I already have the pattern. I don't have to do any math. It's gonna be pretty mindless besides the fact that I'm going to have to figure out what the bow was gonna look like and kind of chart that out on graph paper, but everything else. In the moment that you were watching this, you can actually go buy the pattern for the bow sweater that I'm making in this video because I already had people test knit the Karma's My Boyfriend sweater. It's gonna be the same measurements as that, except it's going to be different color work on the front. And though I do love the Karma sweater, I realize not every single person is a Swifty. And so I feel like the bow sweater pattern is going to be a little bit more accessible, a little bit more universal. It's already listed on my Etsy. So feel free to look at that in the description. Me presently, I have not yet made the sweater, so I do need to go to the yarn store and buy some yarn. <sighs> why am I out of breath? I'm getting really out of breath talking about knitting. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm wearing my pink cardigan because the sweater that we're making is going to be very girly, very pink. Even though I do have a lot of yarn in this chest behind me, we don't have the right yarn. So I do have to go buy more yarn. Honestly, yarn and books are kind of the same thing. Even if you haven't read every book on your shelf, you're gonna go buy more books. And even if you haven't used all of the yarn that you own, you're still gonna go buy more skeins of yarn. And that's just how it is. I have to go buy more yarn, even though I have six drawers filled with yarn. This is gonna be really embarrassing if I show you guys this. This drawer is a little bit of yarn, but a lot of failed projects that I just, I just haven't unraveled them yet. Here's where a lot of my mohair is. This actually is a pretty empty drawer. This is where I keep more of my like, my passport is in here. This is where I keep more supplies, knitting needles and whatnot. Yarn. Yeah. It's not great, okay? I have this pink yarn, which I've never really liked that much because it feels a little bit too dusty pink. And then I have this pink yarn, which I've never really liked because it almost feels like not neon, but there's something about it that's like a little bit too bright. I'm being very nitpicky. I need something between these two. You know, I wish I could find this pink that I'm wearing. See how this is like a little bit too, almost like ne neon? Is that making sense? It is feeling like kind of neon-y. I want this color pink that I'm wearing. I could not tell you the last time I've been in Joann's. Like, it's definitely been months. Everything was like arranged in different ways. I don't know, I haven't been there in so long. So that was kind of fun. Ended up going with this pink. It's a Lion Brand yarn called feels like butter. I liked the tone of this pink and I also feel like because it's, I don't know, it's like a little bit fluffy. I thought that that would actually like lend itself to kind of like the cute girliness of this sweater. It's a different pink. It's a different pink. There are so many different variations of pink that you can buy and it's important that I had to, I could have just like used these and just like not been picky, but whatever. Burnat bundle up, but it's the same texture as this one. They like look like they're the same brand. I got four skeins of pink and one skein of white. We're gonna go back home and start this project, maybe watch something on TV or listen to an audiobook or a podcast. I don't really know. We will check back in when I get, I don't know, a decent amount done. We'll see how much I get done before I talk to you guys next.
we finished the back panel very cute very sweet i always like to start with the back panel before the front panel even though it's like the less interesting thing to do but i don't know i just feel like it's kind of a good way to ease yourself into the pattern it's not as interesting for you guys because this is just like a basic panel the next part will be more interesting i encountered one hiccup the yarn that i bought i love the color i love the texture it's like a very soft i think it's technically a baby baby yarn it's yarn for babies it is worsted weight yarn there's different numbers and this one has the number four which is like a standard weight yarn but if you look closer at the gauge it calls for us seven needles and typically worsted weight yarn calls for us eight needles so i started knitting and i was like oh this is like feeling like a little bit thinner like the measurements are going to be a little bit off because it's a thinner yarn i was still using us eight needles just like with the thinner yarn this honestly might be too detailed for you guys but i just want to be transparent if you do decide to use the same yarn that i have selected it is technically a thinner worsted weight yarn that calls for us seven needles as opposed to us eight needles i adjusted my gauge and my measurements for this sweater to adapt to that pattern so the pattern that i'm going to be writing and selling to you guys is going to be the same as the karma sweater and call for standard worsted weight yarn us eight needles and i just don't want anyone to get confused and like buy the yarn that i used and follow that and like think that it's going to come out with the correct dimensions because it wouldn't be you would have to adjust the gauge and do the math for that and if you do know how to do the math great awesome if you don't i would just pick yarn that calls for us eight needles and just ignore everything that i just said i just wanted to share that in case anybody's like oh but the yarn that you used is i'm getting into the nitty-gritty of knitting anyways the point is i would just buy worsted weight yarn that calls for us eight needles not worsted weight yarn that calls for us seven needles moving on moving on that was just a quick quick little side note of knitting rambles gorgeous so cute the exact color that i wanted it was a fun easy time i'm going to start knitting the next panel which is the more interesting panel because it actually has the bow on the front which is what everyone wants to see this is old news this is boring i'm gonna start knitting the next panel and then we'll attach them and we'll give updates along the way and we can actually attach them and try it on which is my favorite part is when you can kind of actually like visually see how it might fit sometimes that's actually the worst moment because you realize like oh i don't really like the way this is going and sometimes it's the best moment because you're like thank god i'm on the right path we just need to keep going excited to get to that point also very nervous it could also be the worst thing ever and i hate the way that it's going but we'll see i don't want to speak too soon i might jinx it but when i was knitting the karma sweater i was enjoying it the whole time i liked what i was making the whole time most of the time i actively hate what i'm making and then after i'm done i'm like oh, i guess it's okay i'm liking this one right now i do feel like i'm jinxing it by mentioning it this early on i am liking what i'm making i did just jinx myself something bad is gonna happen with the next panel. I shouldn't have said that. Why the hell did I say that? I cannot even lie. Yesterday was so not fun. I like couldn't even update y'all. I spent all day knitting that bow. I don't know. It just like didn't look good. And then I like accidentally picked up another stitch. And so I just like ripped it all out. So many hours of knitting went down the drain. Spent the rest of the day after I pulled everything out, getting back to where I should be. I stayed up until 2 a.m. last night getting back on track because like I'll be damned if I like waste an entire day on knitting. It was not fun. It's very cute. It's exactly what I pictured. I'm gonna go on a walk and shower. And then I have to take Sarah to the airport. Once we're done with all of that, then we're gonna attach the panels and see how it looks. Fingers crossed, it looks good. I need to go on a walk, even though I am deathly tired. having a little bit of a crisis actually a, bi a big crisis i was just taking photos of my progress thus far and i noticed hold on i literally have not noticed this until this moment the two pinks that i used for the back panel and the front panel are two different pinks this one the front panel is like a little bit more of a purpley pink and this one is like a brighter pink can you guys even tell this has happened to me before it's the same brand it's the exact same yarn they were in the same pile on the shelf in joann's when you're buying yarn it'll say like the dye batch and even though it's like the same brand of yarn the same color like they call it the same color they dye yarn in batches so like it's never going to be like exactly correct every time because like 
it's they try to control it as much as possible but like every pink dash will be like slightly different so like ideally when you go to buy yarn you want to buy yarn that's like all in the same dye batch you know that were made at the same time made in the same month made in the same week at the factory so it's like all made in the same like vat of pink dye clearly i bought two different yarns that were made in two different dye batches i hate when this happens it says like color number right here and then here it says lot number so i think it's like the lot number is different when it's like in a different dye batch i'm so I'm so annoyed. This has happened to me one time before and I really need to check those numbers when I go buy yarn because like when you're there, you're just like, oh, they're the same color and you buy them. And then this happens and it's like in the correct lighting, you will notice that they're slightly different, but I'm staring at it right now. And like, now I can't unsee it. It literally looks so different to me now. I honestly feel like this is kind of like a rare occurrence because I bought all this pink yarn at the same time. I feel like this typically happens if you like buy yarn and then a few months later, you like need to go get that color and then you buy that color. Like it's probably not gonna be in the same dye batch, but I bought all of this yarn at the same time so it actually is kind of insane that there was some that were in different dye batches because i feel like most likely like should be in the same dye batch if you buy them at the same day at the same store on the same at the same time like not weeks or months apart it's happened to me when it's months apart it's never happened to me the same day so that's why i didn't check it because like that's never happened to me it's i'm so annoyed i am doing a poll on instagram to see what i should do i explained the issue to everyone and i put up a poll of if i should keep going or if i should fix it right now it is leaning towards keep going i kind of wish it was 90% keep going because then I'd be like, okay, I'm being ridiculous. You can knit your entire life and like you will still encounter issues like this because it's just like you forget that like you really need to double check like so many things. Look like, at the dye batch number at Joann's. Like that just like wouldn't have occurred to me. I'm gonna make mistakes for the rest of my life and it's just part of it. Can you believe that when I finished the first panel, I was like, oh, it's going well. I did jinx it. Cannot believe. I am leaning towards keep going because obviously I do want it to be all be uniform, but at the end of the day, you have to remind yourself with handmade sweaters, like part of the charm is that like it looks handmade. You can make it as perfect as you want, but like at the end of the day, like people can tell that someone knit it. And so honestly, like having two different colored pinks like kind of adds to the mishaps and the charm of like not having something made in a factory. So if I start thinking that way, then I'm like, okay, that's why it's one of one and like no one else could replicate this. But then there's the part of me that's like wanting to be a perfectionist and like have it be as perfect as possible. And if I went back to Joann's, like who's to say that they would even have the same die number. So like I might just like have to have a different die number like period because they might not have the same one from the same batch if I go there today. I'll just wear the sweater in dark rooms. That poll has been up for a total of 11 minutes and it has already made me feel better. Thank you for anyone who voted in the first 11 minutes because I am pushing forward. I am. I don't give a fuck. I do a little bit, but <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that I don't. Let my struggles be your warning. Check your yarn, check your work, always count your stitches to make sure you haven't dropped any, to make sure you haven't picked up any extra. Don't just like get ahead of yourself. Don't just like mindlessly knit for hours and hours and hours. You always need to count your stitches to make sure you didn't drop any, to make sure you didn't pick up any extra. Measure it, hold it up to your body, make sure it fits. Check your work as you're going. This happens to me pretty much every project. And you think by now I would really be checking my work, but I don't. Everyone check your work, okay? Enough pita and hummus. Let's go net. start a sleeve. Look at these clouds. <gasps> I kind of hope it rains actually. I think it is about to be a rainy evening, which is fine because I'm going to be inside knitting. Perfect night. I 
the sun has started coming out a little bit, but it's gloomy. It started raining last night after the sunset. It was raining in the middle of the night last night and I woke up, which was actually very relaxing to go back to bed too. It has been raining all morning. Tomorrow's also gonna be a gloomy rainy day, I think, which is perfect knitting weather. I'm not complaining. This is how far I got on the sleeve. Not super far. I think today I would like to finish one of these arms. That would be great. Oh shit, I just dropped three stitches. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I love when it rains. I want it to rain all day today and tomorrow and the next day. I don't really care. One arm is done. Do you think I could have made the cuff a little bit longer? I mean, I like it, but in comparison to the Karma sweater, I feel like this cuff is a little bit shorter, but that's okay. I'm loving it. You can't even tell. I mean, you can if you look really close. You can see that there are two different shades of pink, but I'm over it. I'm not worried about it, actually. I love it. I think it's so cute. Actually, not this outfit being so sweet. I'm wearing my brown corduroy skirt. This is very cute. Oh, damn, I kind of wish the sweater was done so I could wear this today. We're having an Easter party today, which will be in a different vlog that's probably already up. I wish this was done. I could wear this for our Easter party, but alas. Actually, so adorable. This outfit with a sweater that's missing one arm. Well, I'm gonna go get dressed for our Easter party and I'm gonna probably be knitting this during the party after we eat. I'm gonna go change into a sweater that actually has two sleeves. sweater is done and I really love how it turned out. I think it's so cute. Again, this is like one of my favorite silhouettes that I make. Like the Karma is my boyfriend one and this one, like I just love the long ribbing here and the long ribbing on the cuffs. I think it's just like so, it's just like my favorite kind of sweater ever. And so like, I just wanna make a billion of these with like different sayings, different pictures on it. Like I'm going to make so many things with this pattern. I love it so much, despite all of my mistakes. I just posted on Instagram. The pattern is currently for sale on my Etsy. So if you wanna buy this, you can make it yourself. You know, you can buy a sweater for a hundred bucks from various brands that have a bow on it, or you can make one for like under 20 bucks. Honestly, like maybe under 15. It depends on like what kind of yarn you're buying, but like definitely under 20 bucks. I really like the sweater. I hope you guys like it too. I hope you guys are interested in the pattern. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Letterboxd, Twitter, which is now X, and Goodreads. You can follow me on Goodreads too. I think with that, I really do want to take this sweater off because I am overheating. Um, so I think with that, this is goodbye. <laughs>